Hey, what's going on, DDO players? Axel here. So today we're going to check out the Hardcore League preview, which is on Lamania right now. It's been turned into the Hardcore League server just for a few days for people to preview it. So we're going to check it out. The main things I want to look at in this video, I want to check out uh, what happens exactly when you die, and I want to check out Mortality, which is the rewards NPC in the leaderboards, and see what those look like. So, yeah, so actually one thing I noticed that when I logged in is that it will not even on even on Lamani, even this is a this is a preview, it will still let, not let me transfer my characters over uh, because if, if you watched my video yesterday or read any of the announcements about the hardcore server, uh, one of the things they're not letting people do is transfer any character over. You have to start at level one. So we're going to have to create a new character. And uh, just for the purposes of this video, I don't care about any of this stuff uh, because you know we're just gonna look at a few things so I don't care what it looks like or you know or whatever so uh, let's go ahead and just we're gonna call ourselves test dummy <laughs> all right so I'm going to have to break the video because it's actually going to uh, make me start at Corthos here in a minute, but I will show you what happens uh, first when you get on your ship. So, oh, when you so I have veteran status on my account, so it automatically, whenever I create a character, it boots me to this ship uh, where I can level up to level whatever four or seven. But one thing I noticed, and I, this is the second time I actually have logged in, is that when you talk to the person here, which normally levels you up to whatever level you desire or gives you the option to go to Corthos. When you click on her, you get no option. As you can see right here, I clicked, I just interacted with her and she immediately teleports me to uh, the beaches on Corthos. So guys, uh, oh yeah, um, one thing I also noticed is that look on the top left here, it tells you that you only have one life to live. If you die again, this adventure is over for this character permanently. So that's kind of cool. A couple other things I noticed is that when you you can still do everything as far as I know, when it go, comes to the store, you can still uh, you can still buy stuff in the store, which I saw some people on the forums be a little upset about because, you know, this is supposed to be a challenge, so when you can buy things like XP boosters, uh, it it that impact your ranking on the leaderboard, you know, it's not really great, but it looks like you can still buy stuff, you know, on the store. Uh, you can also do your rolls. So here we go. We got a silver roll. Actually, we can go ahead and do that. So there we go. I got 100 experience points. So, uh, you know, so there are some things you can buy to kind of help yourself on the server. I think that's probably one thing they, they kind of juggled with uh, with the server is that, you know, they they didn't really know if they should allow that stuff. It looks like they are allowing that stuff. So uh, I actually didn't notice this before, but Mortality, this is the Hardcore League uh, NPC, is sitting right here on the beach. So actually, let's go ahead and talk to her before we, we, you know, we break. So she says, greetings, I am Mortality. Welcome to my world. It is like many others, but different. The difference is that if you die here, you are mine forever. It's simple enough. If you manage to live for a while, come speak to me. I may reward you. Okay, it looks like here we go. We have links to the various leaderboards. Okay. So it looks like it's not actually... Yeah, so the, these first three picks here, looks like these are the rewards uh, in terms of the cosmetics. And here we go. So... The, this is actually the leaderboard for Reaper. And I was going to resize it, but it's... Uh, okay, so here's the leaderboards for Favor and Reaper, actually. Wow, someone has gotten 20,301 Reaper XP. Okay, uh, so here we go. So this is kind of the, you know, the bragging rights part of it. So it looks like I can't tell how many people are here. It looks like, what, like 50 maybe? I'm not sure. But yeah, so it shows total favor, total Reaper XP. Kind of gives you an idea how many people are testing this out on Alamani, actually. It looks like only about, what, 20 or so have actually managed to get uh, favor, or Reaper XP. 
we got someone who reached 60, 666 favor. So that's cool. So yeah, these are the leaderboards. So it looks like mortality is not just available here, but it, they did say in the forum post that I went over yesterday that the mortality of the vendor is available in a variety of places in the world. Oh, look. Okay, so you see on the screen right here, uh, Tetra has died at level four. So the, this is an example of a world broadcast. So whenever someone dies, it, it will pop up and tell you in the world. So that's really cool. And I'm glad that someone happened to, to die. <laughs> it's a terrible thing to say, but I'm glad someone actually died while I was online here. So, all right, guys. So now I'm going to skip ahead in the video. I'm going to get through the grotto. I unfortunately can't kill myself in the grotto because in the grotto, you're actually invulnerable. You know, the grotto is the introductory tutorial quest. So I'm going to get through that and then I will see you guys in just a second. Hey guys, I'm back. So we just got through the grotto, which is the tutorial quest. And now I'm going to step into um, one of the quests here and just kill myself just to see what it does when you die on the server. I'm just curious what this, uh, you know, <laughs> I guess you can call it like hell or heaven of this server, what it looks like. Um, Cause you're, it, I, what I think it's going to do is just transport me to a room sort of like you see in say like shroud, uh, heroic shroud where you can't like raise yourself or anything like that. Uh, I, it's too bad you can't transfer my character over just for my main character just for preview purposes because I would like to test out like Jibber's Blade and stuff. But we'll at least give you, you know, give you something to, to see here. So let's just let this, let these spiders here kill us. Okay, about to die and we are incapacitated. Okay, come on, kill us, get below 10. Kill us, kill us, kill us. All right, so we died, and it immediately transports us to some special room. So let's see, can we do anything in here? Welcome to my collection. Perhaps in another world, another you survived. The end comes to all of us eventually. All right, is that, I think that's all we can do in here. So this is basically like purgatory. <laughs> Let's see if we can run anywhere. It's just, I'm just curious. Nope. So let's log out and then log back in and just test this out and see if, you know, we can get anywhere just, just to make sure this is working. Nope, looks like we are permanently stuck in this land of lost souls. Let's try to let's just try to open the DDF store here and see if we can buy a cake. You know, we are on the we are on Lamania, so it's not gonna spend my actual points. So let's try to buy a Sabiri Spirit Cake. It actually let me buy it, so let's see if it lets me use it. Okay, so it says Invalid target, you cannot use this item in public areas. So, well, let me use the spirit cake. So, yeah, guys, uh, I guess if you die, you're just stuck in this room and you can't do anything. <laughs> Although, they did say, like I talked about yesterday, that if you do die, you can still transfer your character off of the permadeath server onto a regular server and continue it from there. So you can log on your dead character, you know, on any of the regular servers and revive it and play it from there. So if you do level a character to 10 or five or whatever, you can still continue the progression on a regular server. You just can't play it on this permadeath server. Hey guys, so I wanted to include this at the end of the video because I logged back into my character later and I noticed that the background here of the Land of Lost Souls where the, the area you go when you die has changed. It was a purple kind of hazy area. And now when I logged in later today, it was like something out of on five. It was a what looks like a you're over a picture of the, you know, uh, an area of the earth or something like you're in the nether realm. You're in, you're actually in like heaven 
and you can see some really cool things here like there's a really there's really cool space uh, art here and that's really neat I mean it, it looks really cool <laughs> like I see different planets and things so yeah this is pretty awesome so I had to include it at the end of the video this really I don't know what why it changes or how it shifts maybe they'll explain that in the future but it looks really cool right now so i had to just throw this in so yeah guys that's gonna be it for this video hope you you know hope you enjoyed seeing this preview which is open till the 8th uh, until tomorrow you can actually preview this whether you're uh, you know premium or free or whatever so you don't actually have to be be vip to check it out right now but hey yeah, guys that's gonna be it for this video hope you enjoyed i will see you next time you all have a good one take care